Um, hello, okay, thank you, uh, Bob, for joining us today. I'm gonna ask you right now to introduce yourself, if you will. Hi, my name is Robert Rice. I am a member of the White Earth uh, Nation. Uh, grew up in Minneapolis on the north side. Um, that's about it. I'm a north sider. Awesome. I know. Uh, what, what kind of work do you do right now at this time? Well, right now I own a coffee shop. It's called Powwow Grounds. <laughs> yeah. And uh, before that, I was a casino executive at Treasure Island Casino. Before that, I was a photo. I worked in the uh, in a photo lab uh, when we, when they actually took pictures and developed the film by hand. And uh, before that, restaurant work. Um, kind of went in a full circle. Okay, that brings me to my, my next question. Uh, what was your dream job as a kid? Well, you know, all these people, they're like, I want to be a doctor and I want to be a lawyer. And I'm like, I want to be a truck driver. <laughs> yeah. That was my dream job. Okay, awesome. And then what led you to the job you're in now? Well, I was in the management at a casino and I had about 250 employees and um, just, I, I just had enough, it was just too much. Um, did that for 17 years and one day I just said, I'm done, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, and then uh, how'd you how'd you learn about what you wanted to do then uh, for your currently? You know, I, uh, so in two thousand nine, I opened a coffee shop on the north side, and that was called Forty Second Avenue Station. Mm -hmm. And we had been in operation for about a year and a half, <clears throat> and I. <laughs> You know, it wasn't something I had planned on doing, but kind of got talked into it. But then I found that I really liked being in the community and doing something, you know, um, you know, with the business side of things, you know, you sell coffee, you make customers happy, you kind of integrate that into your employees and, and, um, become a space that that you know I, I believe that powwow grounds as well as the place over uh on the north side was a uh, a safe space for people to come okay um so i, I guess this would be at the beginning of your journey in your career but uh what was the worst job interview you ever had Oh, this is so many years ago. I, I was, it was in the eighties. So I was applying for a job. It was a uh, warehouse job and I just wasn't prepared for it at all. Uh, answering any of the questions and um, it, I, I knew I didn't get the job when I left the place. It, it, <clears throat> And, and I'm happy that I never got that job because it didn't seem like a good fit for me. I've done other warehouse type jobs, uh, but for whatever reason, this that particular job, even though it paid a little bit better than most of them, it was still, I, I don't know, just didn't feel right. So I remember that interview was not good because <laughs> I didn't have answers. What would you say that you uh, learned from it? Be more prepared, you know, do a little more research on the company, uh, find out what they do. Um, you know, I think that's important to, if you're gonna go for a job that uh, it would be a good idea to look into what that, uh, what that business does, see if it fits in and correlates with your values, I guess. 
Cool. Thank you, Bob. And this is our last question here. Um, so the American Indian Family Center serves American Indian youth who are interested in employment opportunities. And uh, for this last question, what would you tell a young person interested in your field? Um, go to school. Otherwise, you're going to end up working at a coffee shop when you're 50. <laughs> now, uh, to be involved in what I do, um, again, opportunities pre present themselves. Uh, I own the business, so it gives me a little bit different perspective on things. Um, and, uh, you know, my job is, is all about community. Um, everything, every aspect of what I do is about the community. Um, I don't know if other coffee shops think about that, uh, but we get established and, you know, we're not, we're not like a Starbucks, or, you know, we're not a corporate deal. We have a lot of people that are, that, you know, I may know, I may be hiring someone's kid and stuff like that. So it's a little more difficult, but I know that's not really the question, but the question is, you know, to get into this field, um, and that'd be customer service industry, you know, we, we got to take care of people best, best we know how. And, uh, and right. what I know about power ground so far is that it's, it's nationally renowned. I mean, you can go a lot of places right now and people will know about power grounds on Franklin F. Um, it, it's a, it's a good place for people to visit, but you also employed American Indian youth as well, needing opportunities. And that's what I've seen in the past years uh, as I went there to get my own coffee and stuff like that as I went to Indian Center. So I wanted to share that piece about this in this recording as well so that everyone knows, you know, that there's an experience to Power Grounds as well with American Indian business um, that you provide. 